This company not only invests in equipment, but it also invests in personnel. I started with this company when I was 16 years old, working after school. This company invested in me, trained me, and has provided for me. I've grown up here. I started here when I was basically a very young man and stayed with the company and built it and helped build it and worked uh, very hard. So it's been an enjoyable experience and I uh, really wouldn't have it any other way. Uh, it's been really a fast 41 years. We've been really busy and I've been able to um, take care of my family through all the years of service here and uh, hope to continue on. I really enjoy the atmosphere here even though I'm a very young person and it's a, it's a little different to get used to. It took me a while to get used to when I first got hired in here, but now that I know the people and I know the way that the place works, it's a great opportunity and I love working here. I worked here the day after I turned 18. I worked here, I started as a laborer and worked my way up into welding and uh, supervision. I think the complexity of the jobs is more interesting. It's, it's a bigger fabrication. It's, uh, it's into a different realm of customers that uh, people don't see day to day. It's, it's, it's the hidden products that people don't realize the companies make. I started with the company in uh, 1994 through the Warren Fabricating side. I was originally uh, brought in and ran the tool room, did the purchasing through uh, for basically all of our shop supplies. There were endless opportunities for me, luckily, that, uh, that let me advance through the company. I started off as an assembler. I got the opportunity to learn uh, machinist trade. It was a great opportunity, good company to work for, and I enjoy it. John Rebin was amazing. He knew, he surrounded himself with such a team of players. John said to me, he says, what do you think of the place? I said, nice job, John. I said, what you did to the place, nice job. I, I said, you got everything. You got the mills, the burning department. I said, the sky's the limit right now. He just smiled, he goes, yeah, I know. First job we looked at the quote was a pipe that, we, pipe that was 15 foot in diameter. Well, the guy said, John, we can't do this job because uh, you know, it's too big to get out the door. Well, as Reb, Reb always did, he said, we're gonna do this job, guys. Uh, we can get it out the door, we'll, we'll build it, knock the door down, take it out. Now, that was Reb's philosophy. He, uh, he always wanted to take the toughest, most difficult jobs that were possible and uh, move on that, on that philosophy. And that's how this company was established. John Rebin, who actually owned this company, and I were great friends. He brought me back out of Africa. I used to trade commodities throughout the world. He called me and said he's starting this new service center. And his son Eric and Regina were going to be part of the company. And he wanted me to come and kind of mentor a little bit. So I came back. I told him I'd come back for maybe three or four years. I'm here 25, 26 years. I love it. I come in as a machinist. Well, the title of machinist was driving semi, uh, fitting, disassembly running machine, welding, you did it all. Uh, that's what made me what I am today. We have all the technology in the world, but here at Warren Fab, it's the people that make the difference. The people that work here are great to work with, very good craftsmen, very knowledgeable people, and you learn a lot. It's basically a family type company, and uh, that's the way it feels, and it, it makes you feel good to come to work every day for somebody like that. It, it's a good family-run business. We've been here almost 50 years now combined, and uh, I continue to see this company excel in the future.